How's it going? Tutorial here on gd &T for Onshape. I have um, a figure here and I've actually shared it with um, everybody. So um, you should be able to when you go on to Onshape. There's a folder I shared called gd &T Tutorial and then inside the folder is this uh, stop base. Uh, part number 148 478 005 136. Um, so you should see the folder. If not, if you go to shared with me, you should definitely see the, see the document. And what we're going to do, you're going to need to make a copy of this workspace. Um, and then you'll have a separate um, file then. And what you're going to end up doing is we're going to create a drawing uh, of this. Uh, I have my own version here. And you're going to go ahead and create a drawing of this uh, figure. And then we're going to be adding gd &T to it. Um, so let me just go ahead and get this drawing started up. Um, the gd &T being added is right down here for this stop base. Um, and we're going to kind of follow these instructions to add gd &T. Um, But first, I'm going to have to go ahead and um, get my drawing created and also put my views in. And I'll do some basic quick dimensioning. And then... Um, we will add the uh, GD and T. Uh, this two to one is not going to fit. I need to me make this one to one. I know it's not going to fit. There we go. Okay, one to one. So go top view. Okay. Right view. So, okay. Move this over. Bring this down. I know I'm going to need space. Okay. So, do some quick formatting here of everything. Shaded view. Let me get rid of that tangent line so I don't see that. I want this guy gone to tangent edge hidden. Uh, let's add hidden lines, show hidden lines over here, show hidden lines. Okay. Um, there's no hidden lines there. Durr, and then show hidden lines here. Okay. Um, go ahead and dimension. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put center lines in first because I know I'm going to need these center lines to dimension this thing. I don't like that center line. I'm going to do this guy instead. Okay. All right. And we'll switch to the center line here for the hole, for the hole. Okay, um, center, center mark for this guy, and we need to do center line here. Here. Okay, let me add this guy here. Yeah, I don't like the way it looks. Let me take that away. Okay, all right, so let's do some dimensions real quick. Here are the dimensions I need for this thing. Do we need? We're gonna need this. Okay, so we got these dimensions in. I think we got everything we need. 
if I miss anything, I'll go back and change it. Okay, let's check uh, GD&T here. So here's the GD&T list. We're just kind of going to read it off, go one by one, and add the GD&T. Um, make all dimensions and our tolerance basic dimensions. I need to remember to go do that at the end after I finish tolerance and everything. Um, we got some data identification. So the very top surface would be called datum A. Make the 0.63 diameter hole datum B. And then set the lower top surface datum C. I'm going to wait to do those because I'm going to attach some of those to some geometric controls uh, boxes. So I'll wait to do those. Now let's go ahead and do our geometric controls. So the flatness of datum A must be within a point. 0, 5 tolerance zone. So datum A is make the very top surface datum A. Okay, so the flatness of datum A must be within a 0 0.05 tolerance zone. Okay, so the flatness would be this surface here, right there on the isometric view. So at the top here we have uh, the geometric controls. We can add geometric tolerances and then we can add datums. Uh, pretty similar to what we've done in the past. Um, this is pretty um, very um, easy to to add them into these drawings, so this shouldn't be an issue. So we're going to need to say that the flatness, well, let's go ahead and change that too. So the flatness, okay, it says, what did it say? The flatness of data must be within a 0 0.05 tolerance zone. Tolerance zone, 0 0.05 tolerance zone. And so what we're going to do is just highlight over that line, we'll click. And then I'm going to just take it out because you can also put it as a leader, but I'm going to take it out and go straight to there. There we go. There is that. Good check. So it puts that flatness there. And then I might as well go ahead and label that data A now. So I can go ahead and make that top service data A because I put that flatness in. So data identification real easy. Select it. Label data A. So then what I'm going to do is just select that and just drop it down. Cool. So data A. Easy. So that is data A, that top surface selecting there. Okay, what's next? Um, the top hole of the part. So we have two things we need to do. The size of the holes must be with must be a limit tolerance of 0.68 to 0.63. Okay, so we're gonna need to go change that to a limit tolerance. So this diameter here needs to be changed to a limit. So here's our tolerance menu right here. So all I did, you can double click to pull it up. You can also, in conjunction, click once and then right click and go to edit. And so what we're going to do, we're going to change this to tolerance to a limit. Okay. And then so you should see that I switched the limits. Uh, the upper bound is 0.63, so we need to add, what, 5 to it, 0 0.05 to it. So we'll leave that. And the lower bound should be just the same, 0.68 to 0.63, right? 0.68 to 0.63, yep. Good, so upper and lower. Good, perfect. There's our limit there. Um, the position must be within a 0 0.035 diametrical tolerance zone at maximum material condition relative to datum A. Okay, so we're going to add a position tolerance. So geometric control position already set here. Good. The tolerance, what was the tolerance? It was 0 0.035 diametrical tolerance zone. Okay, so we're going to say that the, we're going to need a, a, a symbol here first, diametrical tolerance, 0 0.035 diametrical tolerance zone. 0 0.035 diameter tolerance zone at maximum material condition relative to A. So we're going to add the maximum material right here. Maximum material relative to A. Oops, our case. There we go. So you can see how that changes there. And then all we're going to do is just, if you hover over it, it just, oh, well, I want to snap to that. It turns, it turns that brown color. We click and it snaps right to it. Perfect. Check. Real easy to plug in those. Okay, um, let's go ahead and call because that is going to be datum B. So let's go ahead and snap datum B to it. So we're going to add datum B to this geometric control box. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Next is so that takes care of the hole. Now we're moving to. The front face of the part. 
profile of the surface must be within a 0 0.045 tolerance zone relative to datum C and maximum material condition. So the, this is the front face of the part. So this front face is going to be right here. Okay. So we're going to need to create a geometric control. Uh, the geometric control, what was it? Profile of the surface, 0 0.045. Okay. So select the symbol, profile of the surface. Uh, 0.045 is the tolerance zone relative to datum C at maximum material. Relative to C. And if C needs to be maximum material. And then all we're going to do, I'm just going to select that there. I'm going to put it like that. Perfect. All right. What is next? The right face of the part. Okay, the profile of the surface must be within a 0 0.05 tolerance zone relative to datum A and datum C at maximum material. Okay, so profile of the surface at the right side. So that is this right side here on the ISO. So it's on this view, but I'm going to attach it to the top view. That way it points to the edge of the side. Geometric tolerance. Profile of the surface. Change the symbol. Profile of the surface. What did I say it was? 0 0.05 tolerance zone. 0 0.05 tolerance zone relative to A and then C is at maximum. A and then C is at maximum material condition. And we're going to go ahead and plug that in there. Uh, get it aligned. Perfect. Good. What is next? Plug in away. The slot and arc on datum C. Profile of the surface of the arc must be within a 0.5 tolerance zone relative to datum C at maximum material condition. Okay, so we're talking about the arc. So this arc. So we're going to say that the profile of the surface due to geometric control profile of the surface and it's going to be a 0 0.05 tolerance zone relative to datum C at maximum material. I'm going to go ahead and attach it to here. Good. And then I need to go back and those are all our tolerance. That's all our GMAC tolerance. I got to go back and make sure I label datum C. Set the lower top surface to datum C. So this surface here needs to be datum C. Easy. Datum. I'm going to do it right here. Perfect. Done. And that's it. I got my datums labeled A and B and C, or A, B, and C. Um, I did need to go back and I need to, one thing I have forgot, I had to make all dimensions that are, that are not tolerance basic dimensions. Easy. I'm just going to select them all. Just keep clicking them. So they're all selected. Easy peasy. Uh, we're going to, this guy too. And then we're just going to set the basic. Yep, so it's right there under our tolerance, so we can set them to basic. And I just have them all selected. No way, it's easier. I'm going to kind of pull this guy apart because he's a little bit too close. There we go. And there we go. That's it. That's how we can tolerance inside on shape. Pretty easy stuff. Again, up here at the top, geometric tolerances and datums we can um, set. And then to set the actual limits and tolerances to dimensions, we click on it. We can set the tolerance. We have the options for basic limits, deviation, and symmetrical. All stuff we've talked about before. So easy. And that's it.